Lots more baking and cooking. And uh, Steve is here with the sport now. And uh, Steve, huge anger from football fans who are quite cross with Coventry City winning well, an award. Yes, well, in fact, I suppose they're more angry with the Football League. But yes, Coventry City have been awarded the Football League Family Excellence Award, which basically marks out those clubs making sure families are especially well catered for. Anger? Why? Well, Coventry City don't play their football in Coventry. And you'll remember fans have had protests and marches since that move happened. Another demo is planned for July. Coventry moved to six fields after a fallout over unpaid rent at the stadium they used in Coventry. So every home game is now 35 miles away in Northampton. And among the tweets I've been reading in response to the league's announcement, uh, Coventry City, you've got no idea at all, have you, from uh, Stand Fanzine. Are you mad? How does taking a club from its city f help families? That was Royalist 1871. How about this one? Uh, please, please tell me this is a joke. Coventry City were taken 35 miles away from families that had watched for years. That was Mike Smith, 1987. That's just a flavour, and they were the cleanest ones I, I could give you. Uh, well, you look at the criteria for the award, it is perhaps surprising to see one of those is indeed vicinity of the stadium. One can only assume that means to the general state of the area rather than actually being accessible for local Coventry City fans. OK, so why did they get the award? OK, right. Well, it's selected families that were asked to judge uh, various elements of visiting football grounds. And here, I think, is the key. They're not fans of the specific club, so the families going to see Coventry won't perhaps have been affected by the club playing football in a different county. And credit where credit is due. Staff involved with ticket selling and keeping everyone happy on match day must be doing a very good job, as is the case at eight other Midlands teams who were also recognised, including Birmingham and Wolves. So, well done to them. Uh, West Bromwich Albion is still not massive.